What's going on guys, Tiger here and I have the first regular season game in my Eagles Connected Careers, that's Man 13 Eagles Connected Career. And just before I start off this video, I just want to ask you guys, can you please leave this video like just to show how many people were actually watching this, so I just want to ask you guys for that, please leave this video like it really helps this video out and it shows me how many people watch this series and how often I should put it out because the more likes this get, the more I'll put this series out but you see there down in the nab seems to be the starting quarterback for the Cleveland Browns and I do not like that because I wanted to play against Brandon Whedon the rookie out of Oklahoma State or Colt McCoy but it seems like just because down in the nab was the highest rated overall quarterback on the free agency and free agency um the Browns took him and they don't want to develop Brandon Whedon or anything and it seems like in every connected career I've seen on YouTube and every connected career I've been in so far, like Nab always gets signed by the Browns, Terrell Owens always gets released by the Seahawks, stuff like that. And it just seems scripted how stuff like that happens. And I don't like that, honestly. But yeah, we're in the game right now. Michael Vick dropped back to pass, and he ends up hitting Jason Avant right there. Start off the season nice, Jason Avant with a nice 17 yard gain. Second and eleven right now. Vic making some changes at the line. And he drops back to pass and he hits Jeremy Macklin right there for a ten yard gain to make it third down and ten right now. So third down and ten. Um Vic making some changes man in motion to Sean Jackson and he ends up dropping back to pass and he ends up fitting the ball in the Lexi League to our tight end Brett and Selick for an eleven yard gain. So I want to start passing it to our tight ends a lot more, incorporating our tight ends in our offense a lot more, guys. So you see here LaShawn McCoy with a nice catch right there. Showing his versatility with a nice 19-yard catch on that play. So right now our offense looks pretty nice right now. But third down 11, we hit Sean Jackson right there. He ends up getting um, fumbling the ball right there, and the Browns are in perfect position. They end up recovering the fumble on that play. So that's not what we end up um, giving, just not getting any points out of that drive, which is really frustrating, guys. But see there, Dominic Rodgers, Kamani makes a nice play on the ball to force the Browns to punt the ball. So we get the ball back first and 10 right now. Vic doing a play action pass, and he hits our tight end, Clay Harbor, right there, showing the speed for a nice 25 yard gain to make it first and goal right now. So first and goal, we're trying to do some slant, a slant route, and we hit Jeremy Macklin right there to make it third down and one. So we just want to hand it off to our Pro Bowl running back, LaShawn McCoy, guys. So LaShawn McCoy is supposed to have a big year right now in this Eagles tonight career, and he gets his first touchdown of the season right now. First touchdown in this Eagles tonight career, and we're up 7-0 to zero against the Cleveland Browns right now. So, we get the ball back after our offense ends up stalling out. And we're doing a draw play with LaShawn McCoy. He ends up getting brought down right there, short of the first down marker. So, first, and so third down and two. I don't trust our O line enough to run the ball on this play. So, Vic drops out the pass, and they're doing the cornerback blitz, I guess. And yeah, they left Demarius Johnson, a rookie out of Tulsa, I believe. He's from Tulsa, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. The undrafted um, rookie that we got that played really well in the preseason, guys. That's why I kept him on the roster. He is our fourth wide receiver on our depth chart, guys. I kept him over Riley Cooper, I believe. Yeah, he's showing his elite speed right there. He has a really nice speed. And, yeah, he ends up getting his first NFL touchdown in his first NFL game, guys. So we're up 14-0 to right now in this game. And McNabb and the Browns offense are finally on the field right now. So McNabb ends up getting sacked right there on third down by Mac Mike Patterson. To our defensive line just has so much depth, guys. And it just shows right there. So we end up forcing them to punt. So second and 12 right now. Four minutes left in this um, second quarter. Vic is scrambling right there. He saw some running room. And he ends up not sliding, but he ends up getting... A nice game right there on the ground. So second and two right now. We want to do a draw play with LaShawn McCoy, but he ends up getting 
tackle right there to make it sure it's a rear force to punt the ball. So McNabb in the shotgun right now, three minutes left in the second quarter. And they actually hand the ball off to Trent Richardson, but hands again stop right there. So third down and third down right now and own three on third down. And McNabb ends up almost getting safety and almost ends up throwing an interception too. That's not good guys. So they end up punting the ball. So third down and ten right now. It seems like they're holding us a lot third downs. But you see there Vic sees a huge hole and he ends up just making a nice play out of nothing right there and ends up sliding too. Good job by Vic sliding on that play. So second and four right now, we're just doing a counter play to LaShawn McCoy. That's in here, LaShawn McCoy ends, ends up getting the first down right there. So we're not having the best of game right now so far on the ground, guys. But, I don't know. Stuff happened, I guess. The Browns offense just looks good, but... And the Browns defense just looks good. But we end up getting a touchdown on that play, guys. Touchdown, Brent Selleck. And Brent Selleck ends up taking a big hit and... Stays uh, on the ball, keeps the ball, so that's what we want to see. Incorporating our tight ends a lot more in our offense, and as long as they um, get catches like that, that's what we want to see, guys, from our tight ends. So we leave too much time for the Browns to try to do something, and so far they're trying to do something. They end up hitting um, their wide receiver right there, and they're using this hurry up offense. We're in the dime package right now with four cornerbacks on the field right now. McNabb in the shotgun yet again, and he ends up throwing it off to Trent Richardson, and Trent Richardson ends up bringing Brandon Boykin on that play. So Trent Richardson not having the best of day on the ground, but in the passing game, they're using him a lot in the passing game, it seems like. But Brown ends up getting a touchdown play right there, I believe. That was to Mitchell right there. It's a kickoff right now, and yeah, this is this terrible display right there. I don't know why. I decided to go back with Deshaun Jackson right there and catch that, but there's nowhere for me to go, so I just had to give up the safety right there. So 21 to 9 right now, terrible, terrible play by me, guys. I don't terrible special teams by me. But you see here, McNabb tries scrambling in the third quarter and he ends up getting sacked. Fourth, the he ends up coughing up the ball and Trent Cole ends up landing on the ball right there so we have excellent field position after that forced fumble guys so third down and five right now Vic drops back to pass and hits to Sean Jackson right there after that um, fumble by Sean Jackson like earlier in the game we haven't been thrown to the Sean Jackson as much but we threw it to him there and third and goal we cannot even punch it into our, with LaShawn McCoy because our offensive line cannot hold a block guys so we end up kicking a field goal, going up 24 to 9 right now. But um, McNabb ends up hitting his wide receiver, his tight end, I believe that's actually, yeah, his tight end right there. So McNabb under center, it seems like he's never under center. He's always in the shotgun, first down and 10. They end up hitting Trent Richardson, like I said. Trent Richardson having a good day out, three catches for 35 yards. Good day in the, in the air, but not on the ground. You see here, third. Third down in inches, um, McNabb pitching the ball out to Trent Richardson, but he ends up getting stopped right there to make it fourth down and two, and they're forced to come out and kick this long field goal. So let's see if their kicker has the kick strength to do it, and then the kick is up, and it is good. So they end up getting three points on that drive, so we're up 24-12 to 12 still. So we have the ball back, and we're trying to do something with Michelle McCoy on the straw play. We end up getting a decent amount of yards, 14 rushes for 24 yards. Not what we, not what we want to see from our Pro Bowl um, running back. And our Pro Bowl running back just coughed up the ball, the ball right down there. Forced fumble, but we end up recovering it, luckily. Third down and six right now. They're holding us a lot third down right now. And we change the playoff. Vic in the shotgun, he hits Jeremy Macklin, guys. And Jeremy Macklin showing his speed right there. He ends up getting into the end zone, guys. So they hold us to a lot of third downs, like I said before, I think they hold us to a lot of third downs, but then on third downs, it's just like we turn on the switch and we just go beast mode, so we get a touchdown, and it's like 31 to 12 right now, closing up the third quarter, and Jason Badman ends up getting a sack on, on McNabb right there, two sacks on the day by Badman, with an elite pass rusher we have on the team, so third down and 18, McNabb hits Josh Gordon.
I believe his name the rookie at it. Um, Baylor right there. So they're forced to punt right there after they stall out. So second and 11 right now. Vic ends up hitting Brent Selleck the tight end. Three catches for 41 yards. A good day by Brent Selleck so far. Incorporating our tight ends. That's what we want to see. Our tight ends making plays like that. The second and eight right now. Um, Michael Vick drops back the pass and he ends up hitting Jeremy Macklin. Jeremy Macklin breaks a tackle. He gets stopped right there. Four catches. He's having a pretty good game right now. So third down and eight. Can we convert on another third down right now? Play action pass right now. Vick ends up hitting Clay Harbor. He ends up hanging on, but he is short for of the first down worker. So we end up having to kick a field goal on that play, guys. So two minutes right now left in the game right now. McNabb ends up dropping back to pass, and he hit. He doesn't hit his wide receiver, but there's actually someone hurt on the play. I thought it was McNabb at first, but it's not. It's Jason Babin, guys. And it does not look good for Babin. We'll update you guys later on on that. But second and ten right now. McNabb in the shotgun, and he ends up hitting Joshua Cribs right there for his first catch on the day. And Jason Babin, broken collarbone. The broken collarbone makes their return to Madden 13, guys. It played Madden 12, it seemed like, guys. And it's back in Madden 13, guys. So Jason Babin had two sacks on the day, like five tackles as well. And he is out right now for an extensive amount of time. So right now, um, Second, it was first down right now, and McNabb ends up hitting his wide receiver right there, using this hurry up offense, trying to keep us on our toes, it seems like. So, second and seven right now, McNabb in the shotgun, at, like always, they're running like 9% of the plays in the shotgun. He ends up hitting his wide receiver going across right there to make it first and goal, guys. So, first and goal right now, McNabb in the shotgun yet again, guys. And McNabb ends up hitting Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon makes a beautiful one-handed diving catch, guys, for the touchdown. So they're going for a two-point conversion, trying to make this just a 14-play, 14-point uh, game right now. So McNabb pitches the ball off to Trent Richardson, and Trent Richardson finally gets some positive yardages on the ground, guys. So we're only up 14 points, and they're forced to come out and kick this onside kick, guys. We end up recovering it. So that ices the game. We end up winning this game 34 to 20, guys. Michael Vick has a real good game. 152 passer rating, guys. Three touchdown game. We put in Nichols at the end just to kill the clock out and just try to develop him some more. But bad game overall for both running backs. McNabb and McCoy are only 50 yards, and you see there Trent Richardson negative seven yards on the day, guys. Welcome to an NFL rookie. So on his first NFL game, Trent Richardson gets negative seven yards on the ground. But he does have three catches for 35 yards. So I guess he had a pretty good game out there playing as a wide receiver, I guess. But yeah, we end up picking up the W guys going 1-0 and on the season in this connected careers. The um, Browns ended up trailing and they can never recover, guys. So yeah, Jason Babin out with an injury for an extensive amount.